today's episode of why I might go play in traffic after we get done talking. Yeah. My kid comes home from school yesterday mm-hmm. with a clarinet. Why? Apparently she's in band. Actually, I, I kind of knew this. Like, I remember like last year, like, yeah, yeah whatever. And she, of course, she comes home and pulls this thing out. And it's like, look, I know how to play it. And <clears throat> a steamroller rolling over a herd of cats would make a more pleasurable noise than has been yeah. coming out of this um, I'm so sorry. instrument. My daughter um, played instruments uh, throughout high school. She's actually very good. Um, but she kept switching instruments, which I didn't like. And um, the, But the funny thing is, I don't know if it's funny, but the interesting thing perhaps is, let me think about that. Yeah, so all three, so there were keyboards, mm-hmm. you know, piano, whatever, but keyboard, it like, uh, guitar and drums, right? Scary. We had a drum set in our house, you know? Yeah. But these things are all electronic, right? So she could oh. put headphones on and not have to, we didn't have to hear this, right? Which eventually we kind of did want to hear it because honestly, she got good at this stuff, right? Especially the keyboards. I think mm. I told the story a long time ago. I mean, she was awesome. Um, but yeah, clarinet. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. So uh, yeah, enjoy that. I'll. Um, I am. If this studio goes away, it's because I've turned this thing into a soundproof shelter. Right. That she can be in. <laughs> that she can be in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because, uh, yeah, she's all proud of it. She's like, you played a note. I'm like, yeah. It's not... Yeah, you're like, yeah, you're great. <laughs> she's, uh, I still love you. Um... <sighs> it's like easy modes aren't here. Uh, that's... Anyways, there's a Surface event coming up, which they've given... Five weeks notice? Hey, at least they gave notice. I mean, I haven't been invited to a Surface event because I don't think they've had one. Yeah, I was in trying to think, like, has there been one? Years. You know, I'm, yeah. I am I can't think of one. I mean, this, there were the couple, like the little thing you and I went to, to in New York. Mm-hmm. And I, there was one sort of like that after that. Yeah. I But that was pre-pandemic, obviously. I mean, yep. I don't think they've had a sur- an in-person Surface event. No. And it's got to be going on over three years. Yeah, so there'll be three some years. Surface Revs. I don't think there's any new form factors coming. I mean, that'd be shocking at the most. But I think the AI stuff is where... Yeah, that was going to say. I, I, everyone's like, oh, do you think we'll talk about Windows 12? You know, it's like, yeah, maybe. But I, I, <laughs> they don't tend to do that kind of thing at these Surface events. Yeah. They, what they will talk about is the AI stuff, AI stuff meaning the MPU stuff. Yep. Um, that and to I, me is the interesting part because that's the only yeah. thing that's probably differentiated. So we know that uh, AMD came out with a very specific chipset, you know, um, and I'm sure there'll be others, but, you know, I would imagine a- any AMD based versions of uh, Surface products will use that or whatever they have. And Intel, of course, uh, Meteor Lake, or whatever the next gen, 14th gen, will be doing the whatever they call it. I think they call it an AI engine, but we'll just NPU. Um, I would assume that will be the case for the others, you know, so. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, Lenovo uh, just released their quarterly earnings. T- terrible quarter. You know, PC business is tanking. Mm-hmm. They see some relief coming in the second half of this their fiscal year, which means the last quarter of this year and the first quarter of next year. Um, but they talked up AI as the driver for the future. Yeah. And um, I think this is the stars aligning. I mean, it's I think all the PCs we see announced at IFA next month or at uh, CES, especially in January. Are gonna all be. This is gonna be the selling point. Um, I don't know what the selling point was for the past two years. Intel moved to a hybrid architecture for the cores that I don't think has moved the needle on anything. I don't even understand. Mm-hmm. If anything, it, it, it is as you would expect of anything new. There, it has resulted in some problems um, that I identified, for example, related to USB docks or docks of any kind, really. Um, but I. I don't. I still get better. I mean, it's gonna. This will no longer be true as soon as next year. But I still feel more comfortable and feel like I get better performance out of just like an 11th gen pre hybrid architecture chipset in a PC. I mean, they just they just work great. I was trying to think of the last hardware related initiative that actually sold more hardware, because the last two things that have really driven sales: one, the yeah. pandemic pulled forward a whole bunch of enterprise sales for sure. And then the other one is actually software. It's Windows 11, right? It's like, oh, this device supports Windows 11. That actually helps. I don't know, which makes me pause a little bit. It's like, is an NPU really going to actually make 
Yeah. And, uh, the, People so, buy more hardware. Right. Uh, this is going to be based largely on what they show. So, yeah. so far we've only seen very little examples of things, right? So the big example we have is this Windows Studio effect thing, which is just uh, an OS implementation of something PC makers have been doing on the side for years, which is, you know, uh, good image background blurring and all the, you know, head tracking and what all that stuff. All the things can, can that... Can I throw something out there? Yeah. Nobody cares. Right. That's my point. Yeah. That, that was that was nobody's point, buying so. a device because that, it's like oh i look a little no, bit no, better no, on was, zoom that was literally i'm sorry that was literally my point that's not a selling point so the only thing that has come up other than that was it build qualcomm which it, it's kind of a weird way is actually ahead of the rest of the pc market in this one area because they have npu uh chipsets in their you know in their mm -hmm. socs is they did a stable diffusion demo on device um, and I don't, I'm not, I'm just gonna make up numbers. I don't really remember the numbers, but you know, if something would have taken, you know, a minute and a half on a GPU on a normal PC, it took like 13 seconds on this thing. Um, now is that a selling point? I no, actually the so answer here, to that here's question a counterpoint is no. to that. Okay. For $10 <laughs> a month, I can do that on any device I own. Okay. And how, what do you mean by that? Uh, up in the cloud. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so yes, right. But again, I guess my I, I was working toward the same point, which, which was not the price, but was rather also not a selling point, right? But that's what I mean by we need to see what they're going to show. So, for example, we know what Windows Copilot is going to look like. It is not mm -hmm. compelling in any way, shape, or form. However, there may be features they're holding back on because they won't have MPUs where they can be like, oh, look, if you have this, it's going to be amazing or will work at all. And the other thing, we don't really have a lot of – well, we have some information, but it's going to be the Microsoft 365 Copilot stuff, uh, right now, it, uh, there's going to have to be some combination of cloud and local AI, mm -hmm. I think, for this stuff. And I think that people who have uh, local AI through an MPU will have better experiences. You know, But we don't, but that's what I mean. We don't know what that's going to look like. So now it's just like a vague, like, oh, you know, everything's going to be better. But yeah, when was, it, when was the last time someone came out with a plug or a hardware thing or a GP? I mean, um, in the mid '90s, uh, G G 3D effects came out. Had a voodoo card and mm -hmm. got John Carmack took a weekend and made Quake work on it with hardware accelerated graphics, and that's the reason we have all the shit we have today for video games. Yeah, <laughs> literally. No, it literally is. Yeah. I, that's it, it. Happened in one weekend. Um, that that caused people to buy that card because they wanted to play this game and have it look awesome. You know, ray tracing was a big deal, but I don't know. I feel like that sold a lot of hardware. It's like it, it, it mostly things fall into the category of that does look great. And the next time I get a PC, I'll, I'll be sure to get that thing. Mm. But it's not going to happen right now. Like, they, you know, you're you looking out, you know, like, whatever. Whenever this PC is no longer viable or graphics card in this case or whatever it might be. So, yeah, I don't, I, I can't think of any good examples. I mean, USB didn't really do it. It was better, right? Um, I, guess, I don't know. Maybe P, uh, Windows 95, plug and play, it's gonna be sold software. PCs. I know. No, I know. It's, like it's, it's in the, here's the thing. I'm, someone's gonna write in and be like, "Brad, you just hate AI, and it's never." I use it. I use GPT. <laughs> no, 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 Probably no. every day. <clears throat> I wish I could show you this computer. I wonder if I can with a screw this whole thing up. Yeah, it's almost not worth it. So, well, yeah, here we go. All right, so this is a like a little small form factor computer, yeah. right? So it has on the front. You can see there's a red port there, yep. which is USB. You can't see this port because there's a dongle in it, but it's I think it's blue. There's a non-colored USB-C port, and then if you go to the back. There's various mm -hmm. items, black, blue, whatever, ports. And it's like, what do these things do? This is a brand new computer. It has <clears> – <throat> some of those USB ports are 5 megabits. Ooh. At least one of them's 20. And I think the Thunderbolt USB – I think that one might be 40, but it might be 22. 20 also. I, I mean – I don't know. I've never understood this. Remember back in the day, like USB C, USB two was the thing, and then USB three came out, mm -hmm. and so PC makers were like, "All right, we're gonna have different colored ports, so you can tell which one's which, right?" And I think USB two was blue at the time, yep. and red, orange, yellow, whatever the other one was. Just use the new freaking port. Why? Why? Why is there a mix of ports on this thing? Every one of those things should be the fastest thing it could be. So this this type of thing is this is not unique to them. I'm not ripping on this company or this product. This is I review a dozen products a year or whatever it is. 
they're always a mix of things. Just fucking like you're 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 you could plug in something and have a bad experience. And if you just plugged it over here, it's going to fast charge. It's going to work, but whatever it is. And you don't know because you're normal. And you shouldn't have to think about this stuff. And this stuff, this kind of behavior, is what slows the growth of technology, right? Like, I because people buy this thing and they're like, everything's just the same. And it's like, actually, one of those ports is magic. You just have to know which one it is. And you can't look. I mean, you can't tell. I mean, one of them is a different color. Is there like some standard red color means something on USB today? No. I'll just answer that question. There isn't. I've never seen a red USB port in the past five years. I yeah, actually, the first thing it made me think of, this is terrible, you know? are the red outlets in a hospital. It's like this is the one that always yeah. has power if the power goes out. Yeah, right. Well, that's, by the way, that's a thing too with USB, right? Close the lid. Some of them will charge yeah. the device even when it's off. Some don't. I mean, I can't read the little hieroglyphics on this thing. They're like <laughs> freaking one point. Anyway, I, I, my point I, my point is I'm agreeing with you. I'm just doing it in a very long-winded fashion. It's it's not about hating AI, which I don't think either one of us hates AI. That's stupid. No. But it's 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 sort of coming to terms with the reality of what's going to happen, and that's why I said up front, like, we have to see. Maybe they'll surprise me, you know, and us, and that they, they will have some uses for onboard AI that are compelling. But I, I just I'll tell I would this is a good example. Maybe people could go and look this up if they want to. Apple's been talking about this for years in the iPhone. Can you think of a single thing on the iPhone that's better because of an MPU or whatever? I mean that was like, oh, my God, I have to have that phone because it has an MPU, whatever Apple calls it. They probably call it a neural engine or something, right? Um, can you think of one? So, I mean, not, I'm not going to defend Apple here. Oh, However, no, I'm, not, I'm not even ripping on Apple. They've always said the that there is no – their AI, if you will, has always just been built into the things. Like you're not supposed to know that it's AI. Um, an example right. of that being right. the contextual – so right now if I pull up my phone – and I mm -hmm. pull down on it, it'll say, these are the apps that are you're most likely to use. That okay. changes throughout the day. That is one of their oh, examples and it's, of so it's, how it's they use it. it's learning how you use the phone over time. Right. Okay. Now, that's a fair example. I don't know if you want to call it AI. That's ML. It's somewhere. But I think that, but that sort of proves my point because it's exactly the same as the condition in the PC industry, which is this. You have an iPhone, whatever you have, a 13 or whatever, and you look at the iPhone 14 when it comes out, and you're like, eh, you know, whatever, not too much. You look at the iPhone 15, maybe, and you're like, eh, not too much. And then the iPhone 16 comes out, and you're like, you know what? It's been three years. I'm just going to upgrade. Mm -hmm. And you're going to benefit from whatever has occurred in those three years, but you you, you didn't make that purchase because of a neural engine. Oh, like absolutely you, like, not. And that's the point. And I think the AI, unless they really surprise us, I think the problem's going to be that most people are going to have the same experience whether they have an MP or not at mm -hmm. first, right? So they'll may hopefully, not hopefully, excuse me, why did I say hopefully? Maybe <laughs> there will be instances where you have to have an MPU and that will, I, I don't think that's going to trigger any upgrades, but whatever. But anyway, the point is over time you will get that thing. And um, I just don't, I want to, look, I want to believe, I want to be convinced. But I. this is not about hating something, it's about we've been doing this for a long time and like every hype cycle is like a is a 5g right where if you, you five right now well, do this go walk onto a parking lot somewhere yeah. do a download test and then switch your phone switch off 5g i just did this at the gym i get faster speeds than 4g now this won't be consistent with everybody on every phone every network every whatever every location right and i did not switch my phone to 4g to permanently i'm not like an idiot but but that's the reality of technology. Like, it's like the next big thing is like, yeah, you know, it's, but it doesn't change. It doesn't. Yeah. You're still going to use I, a PC in the same way. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Windows 12 will sell more, more versions or more hardware than AI will. I will, I will die on that hill. Okay. Change the yeah, UI. We're all very visual people, humans. Like we're big, right. you know, we're just big furry apes or not, lack of furry apes, whatever you want to call them. That was a weird yeah, analogy. Yeah. Just going to roll with it. <laughs> but right. like, it's like, ooh, that looks different. I need that from a I think visual the term perspective. I you're looking for is shaved ape. <laughs> shaved ape. There we go. Hair, hairless ape. Yeah. I, anyways, we'll find out. Yeah, here we go.